one and two. It's a big day today. I've had my oats. Oh, God. Now it's time for a one rep max deadlift. 502 is pending. <laughs> Easy, mate. Well, everybody. What's up, guys? Liam here, and welcome back to LSJTV. Look at me with my straps on. You guys see the title. Today's video is going to be a deadlift one rep max test, except this time I might use these, I might not. I honestly, the reason I don't use these is because I don't like how they feel. So I'm gonna try and just suck it up and give them a go, but if I don't like them, I'm taking them off. There's a few things I need to be working on with my deadlift form, and today's video is the perfect chance to do so. Would you not agree? You would? Good. Drop this video a like, people. Comment down below, subscribe if you are new. Let's get into some home gym deadlift gains. So one thing that really needs work with my deadlift, um, in my opinion, um, and it's actually been pointed out by a couple of you guys, so thank you for having my back. I really appreciate this. When I'm deadlifting, right, in particular this left arm, let me set you down here. Somehow I've developed this technique where when I'm coming up, I'll tell you what, it's easier if I take my jumper off and show you. So, when I'm at the bottom of the deadlift, one thing I've done to increase my, my lift is actually supinate this palm so that you can kind of pull up rather than relying entirely on grip strength. I have fairly good grip strength, but not like 200 kilos when I've hardly practiced it kind of grip strength. So, one thing I did is uh, slightly narrow my grip. On top of that, supinate this hand, so that means this palm is facing up. But then when I did that, it meant that I had this bent arm when I was reaching the top, like so. And plenty of you guys, and rightly so, pointed out the fact that that can lead to a bicep injury, and I don't want that, right? I honestly have no idea how this kind of crept into my technique. However, I've looked back at videos and footage of the past kind of two to three months of the times when I've deadlifted, and I've noticed that every single time my, my foot stance has got ever so slightly narrower, and my palms have got ever so slightly further in. So if you try turning your palm to the ceiling out here, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. However, if I have my palm down here, the shoulder rotation and everything that is required to fully supinate that hand is really quite difficult. And so as I'm doing that, my arm is straight like this. In order for me to supinate that hand without really kind of forcing it, I can't have that arm straight, it's just due to lack of flexibility, right? So, two things for me to work on is the flexibility in my shoulder, flexibility in my bicep, opening up the chest, all of that kind of stuff. But then also, at the same time, having a slightly wider stance and a slightly wider grip, keeping my back nice and tight. One, two, three, boom, pulling up like so, this time with a straight arm. Rather than my arm being like this at the top of the movement. It's all a work in progress, guys, but I wanted to kind of point that out that, you know, I've acknowledged it and I appreciate the people that have pointed it out. You know when you just watch something, you're watching a person on YouTube and you're watching their form or whatever and you just go, oh, man, and you're, like they do a rep and you're like, oh, God, and then they do another one and you're like, no, 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 please stop. That was my deadlift form in the last video, in the Thor video, right? You have to bear in mind a few variants that have come into play there, but yeah, it is something that I've noticed that has crept in and, uh, just know that I'm working on it, it's a work in progress. And today, we're gonna to try and build up to a heavy single. Just the one rep, but we're gonna take our time though. It just feels weird. I, I turn my palms over so that they'll both flat, but I use the straps again. I don't know, I just don't know, guys. I don't do it enough, I don't do it regularly enough at a really heavy weight like what I'm gonna build up to today. I don't do it often enough to kind of, to build that pathway, you know, in, in the mind, in the brain, to, to just 
right, boom, this is what I do. So it's work in progress. Another thing that I definitely need to work on is my hip flexors. I've been pulse rolling a lot, I've been stretching a lot, I'm actually even trying yoga. That's it guys, isolation has got to me that much that I am trying yoga for the first time at home. My protein actually have a YouTube channel. On said YouTube channel they have a 30 minute video which is like a beginner's kind of class. Obviously I have a little bit of experience from when I went to the class up in Manchester and it's actually the same girl that did the class there that does this. So I don't know whether her kind of terminology or just the way she delivers her class just makes a little bit more sense in my mind but all of these kind of things combined hopefully in a few weeks in a few months you know in a few years down the line we will really notice the differences over time that's all you can do really you can't expect to be pulling 501 502 over frigging night you can't be expecting to do that anyway let's be real here but what you can expect is progress from where you were and i will do that you mark my words. I think you've also got to bear in mind that I never use these. Everything, every lift that I've done, I never use straps, I never use a belt. I mean, right now I'm deadlifting and I'm wearing friggin' spongy trainers, you know? It's not, it's not ideal circumstances, I just kind of jump into it. But I think I do okay, all things considered, but I definitely need to be working on these things to actually keep on progressing, you know? Otherwise I'm just gonna hit that limit and just never go above it and no one wants that, that's when it gets boring. It is actually a little bit cold in here as well to be fair so I am wearing a uh, vest and shorts but that's because I'm filming a my protein um, video at the same time and you know it helps if I wear my protein clothes while I do that. These are some brand new stuff that I got sent and so long story short my, my legs are cold and these will help to keep them a little bit warmer. straps guys I just can't do it the straps completely they're just I don't know what it is but I'm doing the setup right and I'm wrapping the straps around all the while I have to be in this kind of bent over slash squatted down position that to me is a very uncomfortable position I'm referring back to the flexibility thing that I keep saying I need to work on I can't stay down in that position likewise if I'm doing the shoulder press and I hold on to the bar too much before I come underneath it, it almost fatigues my shoulders before, I, it's probably completely mental, but if I'm down here and I can't just, I can't just walk up, set myself, grab the bar and go, that puts me off. <laughs> and it's almost like a setup that's putting me off from what should be my setup. That might be difficult to understand and I, I don't really expect you guys to understand the, what the hell I just said, but I'm gonna try again without the straps because to be honest, they're just completely throwing me. <laughs> All I'm thinking about is, oh, is that tight? Is that not tight? And it's just putting me off my lift completely. See, what I would usually like to do is stand here, eye up the bar and go, right, okay, boom, let's go. Step up to it, grab the bar and pull, and that's it. Whereas I can't do that because you have to kind of stay crouched down to the bar, wrap the things around, think, oh no, I've not strapped that up quite right. There's a bit of a knack to it and I don't have the knack, so I'm just sacking it off. And instead, we will go for the old but it was definitely easier without the straps but I haven't gone heavy on a deadlift in ages and that felt very slow. Right, I watched it back and decided I need to stop being a pussy. So we're gonna go for 170 kilos, which is 10 kilos less than my all-time PR. You gotta bear in mind though that for said all-time PR, I was like maybe 15 pounds heavier. Um, and deadlifting on a much more regular basis, deadlifting heavy on a much more regular basis. Now I'm also, I focus on hypertrophy work. However, back in the day, I was doing deadlifts for days pretty much. 
um, just because I was just getting into it. I wanted to improve on it as much as I possibly could, as quickly as I could. And so much like when I was going for the shoulder press, I did the same thing where I just went heavy on, on deadlifts um, with the goal of increasing that one rep max. That's not really the goal right now. I just kind of want to see where I'm at, you know? drive but felt like it moved okay <laughs> So it probably shouldn't come as a surprise, however, I am slightly surprised, I thought I was going to get it, um, that the 180 just wouldn't budge. Gauging by the speed that I hit the 170, I would say 175 is kind of where we're at right now, maybe 172.5. I have maintained my strength in my lifts in everything else. My squat has stayed the same, leg press, overhead press, bench press, literally everything else has stayed the same. So it does actually make sense that this is the first thing to go as it was the last thing to come on, if that makes sense. In the same way that when I reach a certain level of body fat, it starts to go to my face and it all just piles on my face. The first few pounds, it comes off my face because it's the last place to go on. It'll be the first place to come off. It's literally the same kind of thing um, with the deadlift. So I would assume we are at around about 175, so maybe a five and a 2.5 rather than a 10 on top, maybe a little bit less. But I will take that for today. Plenty of people watching at home and going, oh my God, what a pussy. Which I do understand to a certain extent, but then at the same time, I can only only, you know, I can only beat where I was yesterday and all that other cliche stuff. That cliche stuff really does apply when it comes to stuff like this. You can't compare yourself to the people on Instagram. You can't compare yourself to your friend from down the road that's been training for 12 years. I've been training for like three and a bit, nearly four years now to be fair, but I've not even been deadlifting for one of those years in total. So swings and roundabouts, you know, it will come. It's just not there for me yet. It's actually probably gonna get a little bit worse if anything, but shit happens. <laughs> the rest of the session done people I would say we smashed that to be honest I will take the lift that I hit today the rest of the session was great good pump you know plenty more to come I feel like I need to explain that when I do that voice it's meant to be my Arnold voice it's just no good but that is it people that is where we are at with the old deadlift bear in mind Whoa, I nearly dropped it. Bear in mind everything I've said regarding um, working on my form, working on my technique, and building up that flexibility. This will be helping with that. Um, I'm definitely going to be incorporating yoga into my plan one way or another um, for the next few weeks at bare minimum. I would like to make it a kind of long-term thing where I actually just just kind of do it out of habit, you know? It's something that I've always wanted to do, um, and I didn't realize quite the extent of the stuff that was available for yoga online. Um, and I know it's a bit of a kind of taboo subject if you are a male, because it's not a masculine thing to be doing. It is not alpha. However, it is very good for you. Professional rugby players do it for a reason. Every single footballer does it for a reason. Why do you think gymnasts are capable of such ridiculous things? It's because their flexibility is out of this frigging world. It helps a lot more than you'd think, guys. And so it's something that I have always wanted to work on. Flexibility does not run in the family in any way, shape or form. I am horrendous, the old man is horrendous, my sisters are horrendous. You get the point, it is not within our genes to be flexible. However, regardless of your genetics, flexibility is one thing that you can kind of control, you can improve, you know? If you have shit biceps and you don't have a chest like Arnold, you can't do anything about that, right? That is your blueprint, that is your genetic blueprint, and that is what you are stuck with. You can only build what your body allows you to, right? Flexibility, however, you can improve yourself and that is definitely something i'll be working on over the next few weeks over the next few months so please stick around here if you are new so that you can see me do the splits in three weeks time so i hope you have enjoyed today's video people if you have please do me a massive favor drop it a like comment down below subscribe if you are new it's only a matter of time before we hit that 502 deadlift thor i'm coming for you bro can you actually imagine that like little old me 170 pounds nearly next to him 450 pounds or whatever he weighed the other day 
friggin' mental. Absolutely mental. Go and check out the Thor video if you have not already, the deadlift one and the training like Thor one. Both sick videos, IMO, that stands for in my opinion, but hey, I am slightly biased, so you know. Let me know your thoughts on this video in the comment section down below. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please drop it a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. Thank you so much for watching. Together, we will grow, and I will see you all in the next video with a few surprises. Woohoo!